it's Penny and I'm with you today just to talk a little bit about basic emotional intelligence and that our feelings are our friends. You know, we have a tendency to think that feelings are inconvenient and we'd rather not feel them. And in fact, actually, when we look at categorizing emotions, there are our four um, basic emotions, which are um, mad, sad, glad and scared. And these emotions are basically energy in motion. And if we allow ourselves to feel them, we can move through them. Uh, mad is anything from being apathetic, uh, impatient, displeased, indignant, bored, peeved, irritated, ir uh, incensed, angry, furious or enraged. And the interesting thing with a mad emotion is it can be red, hot, passionate anger, or it can be icy, cold, blue rage. And, you know, so I that's one of the things I always ask people is, you know, what colour is it? And if it's blue, it's icy, cold, blue rage. If it's red, then it's red, hot rage. And then when we look at sad, Sad is, again, anything from being mildly disappointed that they don't have your favourite ice cream in the local shop to absolutely catatonic, inconsolable grief. So, as you can see, it starts off with a mild uh, feeling and goes right the way through to intense. Glad is anything from being content to absolute bliss, ecstasy, joy, uh, cooking on gas, uh, everything is right with the world. And scared is anything about uh, from being anxious to absolute terror. And you know, people talk about fear and where does fear go within that, uh, that uh, spectrum. And fear is false evidence appearing real. So it tends to be a thought emotion rather than a feeling emotion. And, you know, we've been through an enormously uh, terrifying time during the lockdown and the coronavirus. So, you know, when people actually say to me, how are you feeling? It's more likely to be terror than it is fear. So, as I said, I was, it's just a very short video talking about basic emotions. And, you know, one of the things when we're talking about basic emotions is when energy comes in, it should go out. If we allow ourselves to drop down to the heart and feel it. If we totally ignore it, what happens is we suppress it into a bucket. And those buckets of emotions begin to fill up. And once they fill up, we actually get to the stage where we start acting out emotions because there is no longer room to suppress it into our subconscious. So our subconscious mind is what stores all of these emotions that haven't been felt. So I will talk tomorrow about the subconscious and how we actually move those through. Take care. Have a great day. Bye for now.